Hi everyone, Ben here from Themeco with yet another video on backgrounds. This is the third video of the four part series that talks about the topic. Now on the second video, you learn how to zoom in and change the position of a background image using CSS. Now on this video, we'll expand that knowledge with a more complex, well a relatively more complex uh, example. Now let's see what we'll be building today. Okay, this is it. And first of all, this is not me. And if you've been using XN Pro for quite some time right now, you probably heard and seen or in fact interacted with him in person. This is Kyle Wakefield and he happens to be my boss. And I'm putting my job in danger by putting his photo without his permission as an example here. So since this is a three part series, a four part series rather, and this is just the third video if you won't be hearing from me on the fourth video it's safe to conclude that i've been fired well i hope that doesn't happen though anyway let's get started this is a photo obviously but it is not using an image element rather it is a background image and this is how it behaves okay and look at if we reach the 767 pixel downwards, the photo goes down. Now, if you're building a website for a coach or a speaker or a consultant or even your own and you need to put your photo on the hero area like this, this would be interesting to you. Or even it doesn't even have to stop with photos of people. It could be that you're building a website for a mobile app or for a web application and the, you need to put a screenshot of the application here. If this is something you want to achieve, if this is something you want you are interested in, this video is for you and without further ado, let's get started. Now, I'm here on the builder and I already have the elements here put and I have a section and I've set it uh, after much testing. I've set it the, the the padding at the top to 8 em and the bottom to 20 em. Now, it doesn't have to be the same for you. It really depends on the size of your image that you'll be using as a background. That is the headshot. Uh, that is the determinant for how you're going to set the paddings. So. For me, 8 EM and 20 EM, 20% uh, is what I found to be the best for my situation. Then do note that this is just a one column row, okay? This is just one column. Now, the first thing we need to do is to put the image of Kyle Wakefield as a background. And to do that, head your attention to background and advanced. If you watch our first video on background layers, you have encountered this and you know how to do it already. So click this button, then select the image. Okay, and there it is. There's the image. Now, it's too big. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and I've determined that 50% is just right for me. That means half of the image size. Okay, perfect. Now. The next thing we need to do is to put it on the right side because that's what we want. Now to do that, we need to set the position to right center. Okay, right center. The right uh, value here is the first value rather uh, is the one that dictates the uh, horizontal position while the second value dictates the vertical position. Okay. So that's quite perfect. I kind of like that. The next thing we need to do is to lessen the width of the column that contains these elements. So to do that, select the column, go to max width, and I'm going to set it to 50%. And perfect. Let's save that. Now let's see how it looks like on smaller devices. Mm-hmm, that, there's a problem there. Okay, it's quite, Kyle is floating. So we need to fix that. So an easy way to do to fix that is instead 
of choosing right center as the position, we will use right bottom so that his photo is always at the bottom. It always sticks to the bottom part of the section. Okay, perfect. I like that. Let's save. Now, next thing we need to do is to set up the uh, how it's gonna look like on the 767 pixels and below screen size. So let's head on to the 767 pixel. Then click on section, go to customize, then to element CSS. Now I already have the code added here and I'm going to explain to you uh, what each line means. So first things first, I'm going to uncomment that. And the first thing you'll see is media max width 767 and this is to target the 767 pixel and below screen size. Those above it won't be affected by the code here. Then we have an EL dot section. Now, if you're wondering where I got EL, I would suggest that you watch our video first on the backgrounds, then another video on Element CSS, which will render helpful to you in understanding this. So I have the uh, EL section, which targets this section. Then I, first of all, I will adjust this the top top padding of the section and i've changed it from 8 em to to uh 4 em now for the bottom uh previously on the desktop it's 20 now i made it 75 so so that it will make the uh the height of the section taller then the next line is where I target the background specifically. Now, if you're wondering where I got this, it's been, uh, it, it is discussed on the second video. Then for the background size, if you remember, I made it 75, uh, 8, 50%. Now, I found that 50% is small. That's why I made it 70. And still, again, this is a trial and error process. I found 70% to be perfect. Now, the next thing, is if you remember the previous value was right and bottom and i've set that here if you remember that right and bottom okay now this is how it looks like but i want it to be centered so i change the value to center bottom okay that's that's that that's why it works so last thing we need to do is to make everything here full width so Select the section, the column, go to customize, just like what we did in the section, then add this code here. Actually, I've already added it and just commenting out the code, the, 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 the comments, removing the comments. And this means I'm targeting this column, this column, this column here. And if you remember, uh, I have set the column width to 50% earlier, here, 50%, the max width. Now I'm turning it back to 100% on, seven, on the 767 pixel down size, which makes it extend to the entire width uh, available to it. So there you have it. It's perfectly responsive and uh, yeah. It looks it looks uh, good and you didn't have to hide any element using the hide during breakpoint uh, method so I hope you found this helpful and uh, I hope to meet you on the fourth video this has been checking out